It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It's Wednesday. Wednesday, it's hump day. And I don't mean camels. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. It's hump day, and I don't mean camels. What do you mean? Well, it's a euphemism for sex. <laughs> you take the beautiful act of making love and turn it into hump. <laughs> well, if you do it properly, you do that. Anyway, it's... Uh, not just a great day for America, a great day for our president, uh, President Obama. Is that who it is? Yep, still. Yeah, one year ago. One year ago. Uh, I, I think Jay Leno's going to take over anytime soon, though. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Who, me? I'm the bad guy. Shut the hell up. Anyway, the. <laughs> the uh, hmm. Is it wise at this point in the show to tell the studio audience to shut the hell up? Probably not. That was your first mistake. <laughs> no, it was a year ago today that the president moved into the White House, and since that time, his hair's gone grey, uh, he's made some people mad at him, he's let down some of his supporters, quite a lot of his supporters, which makes him perfect for his new job as host of The Tonight Show. Now... <laughs> Should you have told them to shut the hell up? It's too late now. Do you know there's a British reality uh, TV show, on a British reality TV show, Donald Trump's ex-wife, Ivano, uh, Ivano, Ivano, yeah. Oh, you know, no, there was Ivana and Ivano. Ivano was the one before that. No, his ex-wife, Ivana, stripped off all her clothes, and I saw it. It's my new face for uncomfortable. I don't want to get too graphic, but I think we found out what Donald Trump's toupee is made of, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Oh! Oh, blame me, why don't you? That's right, shut the hell up. Yeah! Yeah! Get the hell off of my lawn, audience machine. Anyway, today is a very important day, uh, so I want to talk to you about it. Uh, it's a day to stop and think about uh, the world we live in. I'm speaking, of course, that today is Penguin Awareness Day. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Today is Penguin Awareness Day. Uh, do we have a graphic for Penguin Awareness Day? There you go. Uh, there's penguins, of course. Oh, they explode. Great. Now, let me... This is true. Penguin Awareness Day... It's a real day. Uh, it's a real day, Penguin Awareness Day. It's today. I can't tell you how I celebrate it. I'll just say I am stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> when I first heard it was Penguin Awareness Day, I'm a little confused. Is this a day when we test penguins' awareness of current events? Is that the whole idea? <laughs> Who's to blame for NBC's troubles? Who is it, little cute little penguin? Who is it to blame? Uh, Zucker! Zucker! <laughs> but apparently... All right. <laughs> you, know, you know, for somebody that wasn't going to talk about this at the end of last week, I seem to be talking about it quite a lot. <laughs> Anyway, Penguin Awareness Day, that's why it was actually created to make humans more aware of penguins. Like we aren't already. <laughs> is it every movie you see is about penguins. In the last couple of years, we had Happy Feet, we had March of the Penguins, we had uh, No Country for Old Penguins, we had... <laughs> too Fast, Too Featherless, we had... <laughs> Some Like It Cold, I don't know, anyway. But thanks to all these movies, everyone knows the basics about penguins. Now, their base of operations is Antarctica. They are small, flightless creatures. They're about two foot tall. But I got Tom Cruise. That's where they are. Now you got penguins. <laughs> but, Ed... <laughs> He's short, you know. Anyway, the... Uh... No, probably not as short as a penguin. I mean, it's an exaggeration. I mean, he's short, but not as short as a penguin. Oh, he's short as a tall penguin. There you are. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I tried to make it better, and I made it worse. <laughs> anyway, what I think is ironic is that President Obama's first anniversary... Anniversary? Yeah. <laughs> His first anniversary falls on Penguin Awareness Day. Because Obama's made a commitment to fight global warming, but it was actually John McQueen... McQueen? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I'm excited. It's Penguin Awareness Day. It's my, it's like Christmas so for me. It was John McCain who was the pro-penguin candidate. That's all because McCain loves penguins. He even spoke like the penguin from the old Batman show. He did. He, take a look at this. Take a look at this. How about Sarah Palin last night, huh? Yeah. How about her? Huh? Yeah. How about the job she did? Huh? Yeah. Now, now wait, now wait, to be fair. To be fair. That, that clip is not entirely fair. He sounds like a lot of other things too, John McCain. Do we have the other clip where he says, remember that? Yeah, How sure. yeah. about Sarah Palin last night, huh? Yeah. How about her? Huh? Yeah. How about the job she did? Happy Penguin Awareness Day, everybody! We'll be right back. We'll be right back.